Abscheren is a, a German word, essentially, uh, related to a Yiddish word, which means cutting off. And it's related to also the Hebrew word, which is tisparet, which literally means a haircut. And the idea of an Abscheren, the way it's classically known, or Abscherenish, is the ceremony that celebrates a boy's third birthday, and upon the boy's third birthday, his hair is cut for the very first time. So it means up until his third birthday, we let's allow the hair to grow long, and then on the third birthday, we cut his hair, and we put on his head a kippah, a yarmulke, and tzitzit, and this is part of initiation into boyhood. The custom of the upshern is a pretty old custom. The students of the Arizal, Rabbi Chai Vital, writes that his teacher, Rabbi Isaac Luria, in the 1500s went to Miron, to the graveside of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, to perform an upshern, which is to, to perform the cutting of his, his child's hair. And he mentions that this is an older custom. We find this also that the Radbaz, or Dove ben Zimri, who was just one of the teachers of the Ari, mentions this custom as well. So on the third birthday, they cut the child's hair. What's the significance of hair? Why do we allow hair to grow? And why on the third birthday? And why specifically a boy? And in generally, what is hair? What is the nature of hair? The Zohar says, and based on also a passage in the Talmud, that the hair contains mysteries upon mysteries, that there's something about innate spiritual quality in the hair. We see that hair plays an important role. There's male hair, and there's facial hair, and there's head hair, and there's other hair in other parts of the body, and there's difference with the male and female. Some hair has to be cut, some hair has to be long. There's Nazarites who go with their hair very long. There's Le the Levites who cut the hair completely. And there's a whole interesting conversation that occurs in the Torah and later writings about the nature of hair. So one of the ideas of this book was to really explore the nature of hair, the various different kinds of hair. What is male hair? masculine hair, what is head hair, what is facial hair, what is a beard hair, what is female hair, and more, most specifically, why is hair related to an initiation process into boyhood? Why is, does a child at three years old, why do we cut his hair, and what does it symbolically represent? And this is what the book explores, the nature of hair, the nature of the option, and, and actually also gives a detailed uh, description of what what essentially is the celebration of the boy's first haircut, how do we celebrate the different blessings and passages that we say, and how we should actually create a proper option experience. And the, the deeper part of it is to explore really what is it about a boy that prior to becoming a boy, even though a boy is, is a child is born of a gender with a male or a female, a boy or a girl, but there's something that there's a pre-gender child, which is a child before they're becoming aware of their boyhood, or a, a, a girl before she's becoming aware of her girlhood, there's something about the child that is pre-gender, and therefore we let the child grow, grow wild, or just be, without any discipline. And then the idea of making the option of cutting the hair essentially is to tame that wildness of hair, which hair represents, and to create peos. Peos is the side burns, the side uh, hair that is left in the two parts of the head, which is symbolic of the idea of peah is the numeric value of the word elokim, judgment and din, and restriction. We're telling the child that you had your terrible twos and you were just out of control, which was good. That was the, uh, the universe of chaos and confusion, the world of toe. That's good for a child development, that's to be, and to be in a very ego place, which is also good because in order for a child to develop correct, to, to have proper developmental skills, they first have to care about themselves. And once they start becoming more into maturity, they have to start learning how to share and how to transcend their immediate ego. And this is some of the experiences that we have to go through with a boy, and more specifically because a, child, a girl is more connected with, his, with her mother, and therefore she doesn't have this separation idea as a separation anxiety or a separation idea as a male. And this is some of the things that the book explores. It's a really exciting book because it's the first time that an in-depth analysis is not just in the practices of the option, but actually giving an understanding of why we do the option and what is the idea of a hair and why specifically do we cut the hair at, a f at the third birthday.